Hi friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can establish and create your own kind of style and branding and then as well as how you can save it to your templates under my saved styles right here and then how you can apply to any planner template you see online on Planify Pro. So let's get started. For this tutorial I'm using a simple weekly planner. If you are following along from YouTube, feel free to open up any template. You can also search for weekly starter template and then find a similar one like I have here. Now before we start, let me quickly explain to you. Um, whenever it is saving a styling for you, it will always save you the current settings you have set, such as the fonts the color, the style and the pattern. So let's start with the simplest one, the styling. Here you can choose between neutral ones, ones with outlines, but if you want to be more minimalistic, you can go to minimal. And then here we also have stylings without any outlines like the following CC here. So it really depends on if you want to be more minimal or if you want to be more, not sure how you, what's the opposite of minimal, maybe more bold like this and then it also depends on how many colors you want to use so if you just want to have a simple black and gray planner then you can also maybe choose a more of a minimal styling like this one here where you just have one or two colors but if you want to play around with colors like if you want to have pink headers and then you can maybe choose an original style like this or an original thin style like this um, we also have rounded corners, like you see here. So I, I recommend you to really play around with the stylings, see what you like. And you can always come back later on to further change the styling if you wish. Or you can also save many different kinds of stylings. Uh, for this video, let me just select maybe um, this one right here. It's the original style. And then next under color, you can select a new color combinations. On the right side, you have many different kinds of palettes. Here are more neutral palettes. And if you click on the colors, it will take over the color combination. So this is what you can play around with. Or you can also click on outline. And here you will have color palettes as well. If you select one, you see the color combination appear down here below which you can select and see if you find anything you like like this. Um, the biggest difference is the header color. I think header colors always make the biggest difference. Um, it always sets the mood for the planner. If you have a pinkish tone applied, it instantly looks more feminine. But if you then go to more the bluish tone like this, it makes the planner much more masculine. Or neutral like you see here. If you just want to have it in a simple black and white but you want to have a header color then maybe a light gray like this would look nice but I will choose for this planner more of a simple neutral pinkish grayish tone so here under goal getter there is this pinkish grayish tone so I'll be choosing this one here. Um, it's not too pink but it's also not too gray so I'll have this one selected. And then what always looks nice is if you make the outline color maybe three shades darker um, than the header color. So that could look very nice. So maybe under Goal Gather this next color, brownish color here. Something like this. Or you can make it black as well. You see that um, the outline color also can change the entire mood and tone of the planner white, grayish, this is darker, or you can have it um, in the same color family, so here more brown. And then for the line color, I recommend you to maybe stay more on the grayish color spectrum. So either have it set to dark black or a gray or a light gray. I don't really recommend you to, make, to select bold colors like this. Um, for line colors, best, this would, best would be to just um, stay more neutral. That is my personal recommendation. But of course, you can also play around and go all crazy with the colors. There are no limitations on Planify Pro. Personally, I just think um, grayish colors look nicer for lines. 
So once you have the colors in place, you can then go to the text menu. And here is where I change the fonts. Let me type in something within the line so you know what the H3 font is. Cleaning Chen, like this. And we will get back to the H3 font later on. For now, let's check out the H2 font, which is the text or the font within the headers. Here on the regular, you can choose a new font, one you like. Um, these ones here, they look more classic. And then these ones here, Lovella, for example, looks more modern. So it really depends on if you want to be more classy, more modern, or if you want to have more of a functional look, which is thin font lines like this. You also have typewriters. Those can look nice as well. So really try and find your personal branding. This font right here is a nice one as well. It's more on the modern minimalistic spectrum. So find the font you like. And then once you have a font selected, I'll choose this one right here. You can go to the H3 font. And usually I recommend you to choose the same H3 font as the H2 font. It usually looks cleaner, I feel like, but if you want, you can also choose a complete different font style for the H3 font. I'll just select the same one, this one right here. And then for the H1 font, you can select something completely different. For the H2 font, you can also select um, script fonts. So we have many script fonts you can choose from. Here are a few examples. Let me quickly run through the fonts so you can see them. Take some time, see what you like. Um, if you maybe like more of a fun font like this one here, or if you like more of an elegant look, maybe something like this, or maybe something like this or this. Or maybe if you want, you can also choose a normal regular font or the same font as the H2 font and have something like this. So once you have chosen a font, I'll just select this one for this video. You can then go to the patterns and here is something else you can do to establish a strong branding, which is to select a certain type of pattern and make it a part of your personal brand. So for example, you can select a pattern like uh, this one here. Let me show you a pattern like this. And then for different kinds of planners, you can then play around with the patterns. For example, you can create a weekly planner and there you can apply it as a border. And then for your next planner, which might be a daily planner, you can apply it as a header like this, or then you can apply it maybe as a footer like this, or you can apply it full to the background like this, and then you can also play around with the colors. So in one planner, you can apply it in the following color combination, or then you can apply it as something like this, or just with pinkish dots like this. So this is a great way to not make your planner look too monotone. This is a great way to play around with your template so your customers won't get bored of your planners as well. It's just a great and fun way to add some fun to your planners by choosing just one simple pattern. Also maybe for example stripes like this and then make it a part of your brand. For one planner add it as a border for another planner, add it as a full pattern in the background. For another one, just as a header, maybe change up the colors. For one planner, make it in a gray theme. Then for the other one, make it uh, more in a brownish theme like this. So I really recommend you to play around with the patterns and see if you can find one that you really like and maybe see if you then can incorporate it into your um, other planners. So if you see a pattern, just select it and then apply it as a border like this. If you don't want to have any patterns, and that is fine as well, just leave the patterns empty, click on none. For this tutorial, I'll select this one here or this one right here. And then once you have the pattern selected, you can then go to save export, save style, and then here you can give your 
branding a name maybe you can um, type in the name of your shop your Etsy shop or your brand I will just type in um, lovely blush pink style and can click on this save style and quickly wait for it to save and then it should save it to your template under my saved styles and it should be here but it's also possible that if it doesn't show up that you then will need to close your browser reopen a new one and then you should see it in here and then what you can do from here on is open up any other template so you can go to the hub page and then you can see if you find any planners you like functionality wise so let's say you find a planner you like such as maybe this calendar right here this one right here you can open it up and then from there you can go to your templates my saved style and you can apply your saved styling on top of it I'm not sure if I can find my styling I have just saved before, but I'll apply a different one I've saved in the past. Uh, for example, this one right here. So you can just click on it and then you should apply the styling on top of the planner. And it's possible that from there you might need to make a few adjustments. Maybe you will need to uh, make the fonts bigger or smaller. Under H2 you might need to make them bigger or smaller. You might also need to move things around depending on your styling, maybe uh, make the layouts bigger or smaller. And also with the stickers, check out if you need to make the stickers bigger or smaller as well. But this is how you would apply the stylings on top of any template. So you see, this is how it looks looked like before. And this is how it looks like now. I can also apply other stylings such as this one here or this one here or maybe this one here and you see it will completely change the mood and tone of the planner. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you were able to create and establish your personal favorite brand. If you have any questions you can always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!